Hey, St. John families, it's Wednesday, May 20th. We are almost done with the school year. Today is our last day of posting regular lessons. Friday, we've got uh, the specials. We've got art and PE and music and Christian living. Uh, and that's it for the year. Uh, reminder also, we've got our closing chapel Thursday night, tomorrow night at seven o'clock. That's gonna go live on Facebook and on the remote learning website. So hope that you will join in uh, for that. Uh, but for today, our devotion, I'll start out with the question. So what do a rubber band, if you can see that, and a zip tie and a bungee cord have in common? Um, this is not a bad joke. Uh, the question is real. And uh, one of the things that they all have in common is that they are all used to hold things or join things or connect things together. Bungee cord, zip tie, and rubber bands. And we'll see how that connects in with our Bible verse uh, and our devotion. So the Bible verse is John chapter 15, verse 11. Jesus is speaking and he says, these things I have spoken to you that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be full. And I know that we're experiencing a lot of joy as we get to the end of the school year, maybe more so than in a normal year, just because of how um, different the last couple months have been, not being in the building, not being with our friends, not being with our teachers, uh, and lots and lots of differences. And so we are filled with joy, anticipating summer vacation and the end of the school year. We'll talk more about that in a minute, but first of all, let's let you talk about these questions. What are you most looking forward to about summer? Uh, then tell something that brings you joy, something that you appreciate about each of your family members. And lastly, how can you stay connected to God over the summer? So pause the video and talk about those questions for a moment. So as we come back together, we've seen in this Bible verse the idea about joy. We know that we have joy anticipating summer vacation. There's lots of other things that bring us joy. And joy, of course, is much deeper than happiness. Um, but the verse is a little bit deeper, more meaningful for that than just the joy part of it. It starts out with these things I have spoken to you. And so that takes us back to what Jesus was talking about in the verses before verse 11. He was talking about his love for his disciples and all his followers. And he was talking about abiding, remaining connected to Jesus. And that brings us joy. Uh, walking with Jesus, being connected with him, being his child, um, having that relationship with Jesus brings us joy and brings us a fullness of joy, much deeper than we experience with anything else here on earth. And so that's the part of the, the last question. What can you do to remain connected to Jesus over the summer? We do a lot of that at St. John with devotions and prayer and power up in chapel and a lot of other things. You do that at home with your families as well, but it's important uh, over the summer months that we continue to be connected to Jesus, learning and growing in him. And so that's my encouragement and hope for you as we finish out this year and head into the summer vacation. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you that we have opportunity to grow in our faith at uh, St. John Lutheran School. We ask that you would be with us over the summer months. Help us to continue to grow in you uh, as a family, through church, through devotions, through praying together. Uh, help us learn more about you and grow stronger in our faith. We ask that you would continue to watch over us, bless us in the last days of school, and be with us throughout the summer. In Jesus' name, amen. Hope you have a great day today. Work hard on your school lessons. Get those turned in, finish well, and uh, God's blessings over your summer vacation.